Ever since this machine's been manufactured, which was, you know, started in, in the year 2000, the PR Sting, so almost 20 years, uh, the only engine that's ever run on here is a is the old Honda 3-horse. Uh, now, since they've switched it to CCs, it's a GX100, which is actually just shy of a 3-horse engine. Now, there's no reason to go any bigger with this with this engine um, for the fact that it, it it's not so much the engine as it is the gearbox and the gear ratio that pushes your, your concrete out. Uh, the engine never bogs down, <clears throat> never has an issue uh, pushing anything out like that. Now, this, this machine, the way they designed it, was not only to do landscape curb, which is your smaller 6x4 type curbs that uh, most people do, but you can switch the undercarriages on this machine to go, you know, several sizes larger to a larger A, a curb for parking lots, 8x8 eight eight curb, um, and even pushing that amount of concrete through, through this machine, uh, this, this engine does not have a problem. Now recently, within the last year, Borderline has been Honda certified with these, with these engines on these machines not only on the PR Sting, but our sod cutter and the pile driver. Um, they sent a representative, representative to our facility here. They tested each machine and hooked it up to, uh, to test the RPMs and the oil temperature and so on. Uh, and they had all sorts of wires coming out of every machine. And they ran these machines full bore for an hour with loads. So we pushed concrete through this machine for an hour while they were testing this to make sure that the engine was was strong enough and had enough power to run the machine that it was on. Since we are certified in all those, Borderline can offer, instead of a 90-day residential warranty on these engines, it goes up to a three-year commercial warranty because it's been tested on this machine to run this machine. Um, so that tells you that this engine has plenty of power to run, to run that. Now, there's a couple of machines that run a GX120, which is a Honda 4-horse, which is fine. The only problem is most of those machines, the engine is, the GX120 is, is approximately two to three inches wider on each side. Um, so if they take the same frame and they put that engine on, let's say we took this off and put a GX120 on there, it's going to stick out the side about four inches. Now the issue with that is, is these machines are designed to run clockwise, so your paint line is going to be on the left side of the machine right here. So if you see anybody running a machine with a four horse and they're leaning off to the side to look at their line, that's because the engine's in the way. It doesn't need to be on there. Now, another reason that they might go to a, to a four horse or a GX120 over this engine is that it's mass produced. A GX120 is actually $80 cheaper than a GX100. That doesn't make a lot of sense to people that a four horse engine is going to be $80 cheaper than a three horse and it has more power. That's just the way it is because a four horse is mass produced. This engine right here is, is, is harder to get, so it actually costs more. So if we were looking to save money and you know make more money selling each machine, we would put a four horse on here. So that could be a reason why they are putting four horses on there because it's not you don't need the extra power. It's because they're actually saving money on the machine and they're making more money. So engine-wise, this is what we run. You don't need anything bigger than that. And... Uh, um, it pushes uh, concrete out uh, extremely well.